All right, so now that I have finally gotten around to getting everything I needed for her storyline, or well, I guess quest line, to really unlock here, um, we are going to enjoy ourselves some Hornet quest line story. <laughs> I know people have been wanting this one for a while, and I've had to push it back a little bit because I haven't been able to work on her much. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and dive in, and let's see what the story has for us today. See you guys in a few. Anyway, chapter one, bright and bubbly. Yeah, that, that, that actually summarizes her pretty well. <laughs> Port office. Today the new secretary ship is supposed to stop by. If I remember correctly, she should be... Yo, Commander, were you waiting for me? I'll be in charge of secretarial duties starting today. Oh, shoot. Should I have knocked first? I was a bit surprised by this greeting, but I shrugged it off and told her it was fine. <laughs> I've already learned how to do a secretary's duties, so feel free to rely on me for just about anything, or everything. Just as she said, Hornet went about doing tasks with just as much vigor as her greeting from before. I don't know why I'm putting it up. I mean, it works, but <laughs> what am I doing? Even when she came across something she wasn't familiar with, once I taught her, she got it pretty quickly. Oh, fast learner, that's good. At this rate, we should be done with today's work in no time. <laughs> Here's some mail, Commander. Catch! Got it! <laughs> nice! <laughs> I just imagine being like the little, like the short little thumbs up. Nice! <laughs> Seeing me catch the letter she tossed at me, she gave me a thumbs up with a smile. <laughs> I did one of those things again. Lovely. <laughs> Whew, and that's a wrap for my to my first day as the secretary. Cheers, Commander. You certainly lived up to your reputation as a Yorktown class ship. I'm the youngest member of the Yorktown class. I can't sully their honor, you know. Hmm. <laughs> youngest and can't sully their honor. Hmm. <laughs> I always did like how bubbly she is, though. Then again, that's like the one thing I've always pointed out, or maybe able to point out about her, is just how energetic she is. Definitely not a bad thing. It makes her unique compared to her sisters. I feel like she's asked about that a lot. I don't know. Anyway, chapter two, Silent Friend. Port office. Northampton, it's your turn, you know. Yeah, I'm just thinking about what to do next. Hornet and Northampton were playing a board game in the office. How did this happen, you ask? By the way, Commander, since we're just about done with work, want to play a game together? I happen to invite my friend who's a bit quiet, but reliable. Is that Northampton, I'm assuming? <laughs> Commander, anyone there? Stop zoning out, it's your turn. There was Hornet, who had been lively since starting the game, and Northampton, who was deep in thought without letting out as much as a single peep. After thinking for a moment, I skipped my turn. <laughs> you thought pretty hard, didn't you? Well, then it's my turn. Let me move this here and this piece over there. Done. Oh, I'm feeling a bit thirsty. I guess I'll go buy some drinks. Northampton, you'll be having the usual, right? What about you, Commander? Roger, I'll be back in a bit. Uh, that, what did we tell her? I don't. That, it, <laughs> we didn't get a choice. She took off. She asked us for a drink, and she took off. We didn't answer. Her. What is? What is? It, what is she gonna get us? Oh no. Uh. uh oh. <laughs> I'm used to like a um. Like, some kind of dialogue option popping up on the right over here, but nothing came of that, so... Okay. Anyway, the moment Hornet left, silence fell over the office. Um... The one that broke the silence was Hornet's silent friend. When Hornet said that you were going to show up, I thought it was a joke. Hornet's currently on duty as the secretary's ship, right? Is she causing any trouble for... 
told her how Hornet was handling her job at the office. I see. I wonder if I was worrying over nothing. Since she was here, I figured I'd ask Hornet's best friend, Northampton, about a few things. Hornet is a bright and free soul. I don't know how accurate it is, but my mental image of her is that of a cowboy. But I wonder if she's really fine. Is she concerned with her place among her sisters? I don't really know how to phrase this properly, but it might be related to her pride. Or be something kind of complex. Oh. Yeah, I can see where- I can see that. I mean, Yorktown and Enterprise have some pretty big reputations. I can see why maybe that might be in the back of Hornet's mind, but... Hmm. She does a good job at hiding it if she does. I'm actually kind of curious if that is going to come in play or not. But then again, it's kind of a Chekhov's gun thing, isn't it? To mention it, but nothing ever comes of it. Speaking of sisters, she did talk about not wanting to sully their honor. I should ask what the person in question thinks when I have a chance. I'm back! Pretty quick, wasn't I? <laughs> Oh, uh, never change on it. <laughs> Here, have a sip. And then it's right back to the game. <laughs> uh, I really do like how she is. It's, I don't know. I, the, the high energy she has definitely is, I guess it's kind of contagious. It probably helps across all of her, uh, like, fleet mates when she's in combat or whatnot. I'm sure that's probably a good thing. Hmm. Anyway, Chapter 3, The Topic of Sisters. Court Office. Once we finish putting this together, we'll be done. Hmm. Commander, I'm done on this side. How are you doing? I just finished myself. Yay, another day's work completed. But it's a tad bit early to be excited. And it's no good for a secretary ship to be wandering about outside on a weekday. I wonder what I should do. Commander, would you like to chat for a bit? How about our interests? That should make working together a lot easier. She wants to chat, huh? What should we talk about? Then how about talking about my distinguished sisters in the Yorktown class? Don't worry, I get it. I know that you've been pretty interested in Yorktown and, Inter and Inti. I mean, I guess she wouldn't mention herself here, because technically we're around her 24-7 and she's a secretary. I don't know. I feel like her own admission there was kind of weird. Because it's like, it's the difference between saying like... You know, I bet you're curious about the Yorktown class ships, you know, or like, being inclusive, including herself in it, like, saying like, us, or whatnot. I don't know. It does seem a little... interesting, to say the least. I'd be lying if I denied it. <laughs> I hit the bullseye, didn't I? <laughs> There's no need to be embarrassed. It's understandable to be taken in by my sisters. So, which one are you interested in the most, Commander? As the youngest sister, I'm willing to provide you with some special insider info. See, technically Enterprise is an oath of mine. I wonder how e oh gosh, I wonder how each of these are going to defer. We'll have to see. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with her. <laughs> I just want to see how she reacts to it. So I'm going to choose Hornet. Hornet, huh? Let's see. Wait a second, Hornet? <laughs> You're talking about me. <laughs> Fortunately for you, information about the great Hornet is off limits. Aw. Alright, let's try Yorktown out. Yorktown, huh? She's the gentlest one out of us all. But from time to time, she has a pained expression. And even I'm not sure of the reason why. Commander, I hope you're able to make her smi- er, happy. Well, wait, wait, hold up. What's wrong with the- what's wrong with that? What's wrong with making her smile? Hold up. What do you mean, Hornet? I mean, both of these are fine, but I'm pretty sure people want to see that. That's, pro that's probably the main reason a lot of people got her uh, battle pass skin in the first place is because she actually sm she like has a really good smile on it. Come on, Hornet. <laughs> Enterprise. 
Going after Enti. You got discerning eyes, Commander. Having an aura that radiates strength, but not haughty. Always willing to do her best and respected not only by the other ships in the, e in the Eagle Union, but also by her rivals. Well, she does push herself too hard at times. Do something about that side of her first, then we can talk. <laughs> Is there anything else you were curious about? I'm willing to talk about anything I know about. I'm curious how you feel about your sisters. Well, they're my dear sisters, who I respect. But from time to time, I do get jealous of them. Especially since Inti is unbelievably famous, and I've become famous by association. I get called Enterprise's sister a lot. It sure is hard having a sister that famous, you know? For just a moment, I was able to see the discontent that, li that lay underneath her normally bubbly exterior. Hmm. Yeah, it is interesting how she has, like, this break in her own character. Hmm. I guess it's not surprising this did eventually pop up, but still. Maybe it's because she wants to, you know, be known. It's kind of like, I, I, wonder if, I, I wonder if it's kind of the same thing as, like, to, like, Mario and Luigi. Like, everyone knows Mario. Luigi... Yeah, I guess people generally call him by Luigi, but I think originally, like, people still look at him as Mario's brother. Like, it's that same kind of thing, where it's like, yeah, Luigi's there, he he's known, but he wasn't as big. Like, it wasn't until he started getting his own games and getting more time in the spotlight and stuff that he actually really started to stand out more and more and more. But it was just that case where he was just Mario's brother. So I can kind of see that's kind of the same point, point. I wonder if that's where they're going with that. Hmm. Anyway, Chapter 4, The Appearance of a Rival. Hey everyone, just wanted to pause the video real quick. This is Editor Me. If, for those of you who remember the event Virtual Tower, it was Impero's event, uh, you're going to see a dialogue between two people that are very similar to that particular event characters. This is why we believe that some of these memories are actually tied to another timeline, and as such, this might actually be the same one. I just thought it'd be cool to mention. Nothing all. Anyway, back to the video. Rival who, I wonder? Port office. Commander, it's terrible! Huh? A flustered hornet came flying into the office. What's wrong? Yes, you see... The commander and I are both on extended vacation, and I'm not scheduled to participate in any practice exercises. <laughs> guess that me I guess that means it's time to play to my heart's content. Hey, the Union ship over there. If I remember correctly, your Enterprise's sister, the Yorktown class's Hornet. Zekaku, please. Well, okay. She does scream Grey Ghost all the time, so I guess... Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, you're... The Sakura Empire's Zekaku. Perfect timing. Do you know where that Grey Ghost basically... Do you where that Grey Ghost... Oh, okay, so she was like... She was mid-thought, then just stammered a little bit there. Anyway. Do you know where that gray ghost... It, basically, I was looking for your sister. Do you know where she is? Oh, Enterprise should be out on an emergency commission. She'll be back tomorrow night. Is that so? We were planning on having a bout today. I guess it'll have to wait for the next time. <laughs> if you're looking for a practice partner, I'm here, you know. I'm free for the next few days anyway. I don't mind sparring with you is what I said in the heat of the moment, but I didn't think she would actually take me up on that offer. Yeah, it's Zuikaku. She would do that. It seems that she's due for a one-on-one -on -one exercise, and she wants to know if there's a practice area that's free to use. That's part of it, but what's more important is that... Are you worried that you might lose? No, there's nothing bad about losing during practice. I'm usually not one who cares about winning or losing anyway. And I've always wanted to take on the Sakura Empire Zuikaku as well. But even so, I'm going in place of Enterprise. If I were to lose, nothing good would come from that. So Commander, please give me some advice on how to win. <laughs> um... See, I don't... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, I want to click this top option, but I'm sitting here like, Zuikaku is an oath of mine, though, and I would feel horrible. What about Zuikaku? I'm closer to you since I'm currently the secretary ship, so I'm first in line. Please get... Um... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> Technically, she's an oath, so she's at so she's trumped your first in line secretary card there. So I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> this entire situation is just janky. <laughs> I, I see, sure. I knew you'd be up to help me. That, okay, well. Huh, that was kind of disappointing on the second option there. So, in case you're wondering how I go about doing these, I usually will play both of the, any If there's options, I'll generally try to play all of them first before I actually view the next chapter. So I usually have to spend some time going back and playing through that entire cutscene. This one was, uh... It was a one-line response and it was over. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that entire scene was funny because I'm just like, Look, Hornet, you my secretary, I like you. But Zuikaku's an oath. You kinda lost. <laughs> Anyway, chapter 5, NT Sister. Oh god, the situational <laughs> humor is actually kind of funny. Anyway, port, office, nighttime. I see. Hornet is set to spar with Zuikaku in my place. Well, it's not exactly in my place. We both fight differently. And if Zuikaku didn't accept her on her own merits, she wouldn't be sparring with her in the first place. But even so, Hornet's worrying to that degree. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Leave the training to me. Okay. Practice area, noon, the following day. Enti, weren't you supposed to come back tonight? I hurried back as soon as I heard you were sparring with Zuikaku. Even if you hurried back, I can't believe you'd be back half a day early. You're amazing as always, Enti. Oh, if you're back, you should spar with Zuikaku yourself. No. You're the one who's supposed to be sparring with her today. And since she's accepted your invitation, it'd be rude to change at the last minute. And since I rushed back here, I'd like to rest for a bit as well. <laughs> Empty. The commander's advice to you was special training. Well, let's get on with it then. Suikaku's the type who won't let take an opponent any opponent lightly. Unless you focus, you're gonna be ah. Unless you focus. You're going to be tuckered out for the rest of your vacation. Got it, Enzi. Whew, it's already this late. Zuikaku might be strong, but you're probably so much stronger. With these measures under my belt, tomorrow should be a piece of cake. You shouldn't underestimate your opponent. She's probably preparing for the bout tomorrow, just as you are right now. You might start off strong with these measures, but you'll need to adapt to the battle with your own strength to close it out. That should be it for now. I'll be in the dormitory, waiting to hear good news from you. Yeah, make sure to get some rest. After seeing Enterprise off, Hornet stared off into the horizon. <sighs> I went through so much special training today. I just hope it sticks. In the end, I had to rely on Enti. With a bitter smile on her face, Hornet lowered her head and pulled her hat down to hide her face. And as if she remembered something, she raised her head and turned to look behind her. The reason Enti came back early has to be because I talked to the commander about my bout with Zuikaku, right? I wonder what the special training the commander had in mind was. She looked as if she was thinking that in the end, she was only Enterprise's replacement. It was an expression I was seeing for the first time since having come to know her. My advice for Hornet, who was troubled by the weight of being called Enterprise's sister, was... It looked as if there was nothing to do but to tell her directly. 
I feel like you should have flipped those sentences. That one should have come before the last one, but okay. Yeah, I don't know. That... I, sometimes they have pro I don't necessarily know if that was really a typo, if that was a mistake, if that was intended. Sometimes they have issues with the scripting of these dialogue scenes. As you guys saw with the Suruga one where the dialogue repeated itself and that just absolutely confused me. Yeah, it happens. I, I still felt that would have been more impactful if they switched those two sentences around. Anyway, chapter 6, Be Yourself. Next day at the practice area. The practice area at the port. After a few exercises, Hornet and Zuikaku stood there waiting. And soon the signal flare signifying the start of the match was shot up. Immediately, the two began to move. The practice had started. Oh, okay. <laughs> she really is a tough cookie to beat. Looks like you've got a grasp on the things Enterprise has taught you. It seems you've trained hard for this today. Uh, whoops. <laughs> what was it just talking about? <laughs> it's alright. But the same goes for me. I've trained hard so that I can beat you, and the Grey Ghost herself. Just as Enterprise had predicted, Hornet had the upper hand early on, but as Zuikaku adapted to the battle, Hornet was slowly being driven into a corner. Did you really think you could just you could beat me just by copying Enterprise's fighting style? <laughs> if you think I'm just copying into you, you're sorely mistaken. Of course, there are parts I've copied, trying to catch up to her. But I'm not just copying her while following in her footsteps. I'm my own person. I'm the youngest of the Yorktown class. A dashing brilliant hornet. That's the spirit. Now show me what you're made of. This is why I like Zuikaku. <laughs> After deploying her main air force, Hornet sped directly towards Zuikaku. No matter how many times you try the same trick, you won't succeed. Lightning. Dodging Zuikaku's attack by a hair's breadth. Hornet instantly changed her stance and slipped into Zuikaku's reach. Wh what? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Hornet, who managed to score a direct hit on Zuikaku, ended the practice just like that. <laughs> I did it. What a success. Pretend to copy Enti's tricks and then mix things up. That's why you had me train with Enti. It just might work on her, seeing how obsessed she is with my sister. I see. You didn't have Auntie train me just because I was her sister. Copying your sister isn't bad, but don't just copy her. Use her base, use her power as a basis for your own skills and show off your own strength. Did you just debate Zukaku? <laughs> oh my gosh. I see. You should've told me earlier. Even if you're the type to sneak in a roundabout way like that, I'm not. I might have been a bit down earlier, but pretend you didn't see anything. You didn't, right? This is so embarrassing. Pretending to use Enterprise's tricks to fool me. I guess I lost because I was too focused on them. You got me good. You got the best of me with that move. This isn't the end. I won't fall for such a trick twice. Really now? Maybe when you can distinguish between my original moves and my sister's. What did you say? Uh oh. That's a fighting style that only I have the privilege of being able to pull off as Enti's sister. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Then until we can fight with our strength instead of relying on tricks. Now come and be Hornet. <laughs> yep, just what I wanted. <laughs> oh god. Hornet and Zikaku continue to spar. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> I don't know why I always feel like I needed a SpongeBob transition card for some reason. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is a very interesting um, chapter title. Chapter 7, I love you. Alrighty then. The day after Hornet and Zukaku's bout. Commander, you're free, right? Let's go on a date! Oh. Oh, wow, that was, uh... <laughs> man, she's going. Huh? <laughs> I 
the commander being a harem protagonist for once in his life. Oh, I was being a bit too loud. Sorry. Don't you see that I've got two movie tickets in my hand? Let's get going. We weren't able to hang out yesterday, so we're going for double today. You can take this as me blackmailing you for keeping your mouth shut, or as a display of gratitude. Isn't that more of a bribe than a blackmail? Of course, you can just consider this hanging out as well. Regardless of the reason, let's get going. Hurry, hurry, the movie's going to start. Oh, can't forget about the 3D glasses. Oh man, it's so real! <laughs> I thought Hornet would get all worked up at the climax scene, but... She was fully absorbed in the movie. If anything, I was the one getting worked up. Unable to ignore the feeling of her hand in mine. Uh-oh. 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 Is that... Hand-holding?! <laughs> The best part of westerns are the riding scenes and the shootouts. <laughs> are you turning red just from holding hands? Well then, let's head to the next place on our list. And just like that, Hornet dragged me along to all of the other stores in the mall. Uh oh. Rip wallet. <laughs> Whew, that was so fun. I feel like I had all the fun in the world. The Cowboy Experience Corner was especially good. Commander, are you tired? Let's take a break then. Taking my hand, Hornet and I sat down at the bench. Hey, Manjo. Now would be a great time for a CG. Just saying. Do you know how many people would kill for that? <laughs> Is this one of those special confining events where my affection points go up? Uh... <laughs> Hornet, they're already at max. I respond to your fourth wall break with my own. <laughs> hmm, is there anything I haven't confided in you about? Northampton and Enterprise have taught me a lot. And thanks to yesterday's practice, my head's a lot clearer, and I'm feeling a lot better. Speaking of which, did you see Northampton cheering for me with a loud voice? I was really surprised. Though I wasn't really able to make out what she was saying because of how far away she was. Yeah, that would make sense. Still, that's, that's funny. And about my sister. Copying your sister isn't bad. But don't just copy her. Use her power as a basis for your own skills and show off your own strength. That was nicely said, but I wanted to add one thing. There are times when I don't want to rely on my sister's powers, don't want to copy their tricks, and just want to fight with what I have. For example, like I'm not as much of a trouble to deal with as my sisters are. I speak the truth about what I like and what I don't like. You're very upfront, that's not a bad thing. So this is my fighting style. I'll say it out loud and clear. Commander, I love you. Oh. <laughs> that was very direct. And everyone who's Oath Hornet has just technically typed F in chat. Or er, comments. Ah, oh, I did it again. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sure all of the major Hornet fans probably died here. Commander, how do you feel? A little bit bummed that we didn't have any choices or anything to hear her response back to it, but I, I guess that leaves it open-ended in case, you know, people aren't that interested in Hornet. I don't know. Still, I actually really did like it. It wasn't, a, it, it, again, it's not a very heavy hitter. But it had its good moments. It had a good number of laughs, which is something I wasn't expecting. But then again, I guess it is kind of fitting for how she can be sometimes. Um, but yeah, I actually th <laughs> I liked that story a lot. I actually really did. It's cute. Um, 
but yeah, I understand where they were going with it because it's kind of the it's it's like I was talking about earlier with that Mario Luigi thing where it's like, um, you know, everyone kind of looked at Luigi that way, and now Luigi's kind of got his own thing now with all the games that he had. I still remember being a kid growing up on Luigi's Mansion for <laughs> for Christ's sake. <laughs> But I did thoroughly enjoy um, those type of games. I think that definitely did help him stand out, kind of, you know, getting into his own thing, starting to, you know, get own, his own, like, I guess, identity, maybe, if that's the thing that they're trying to do. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I, I like how that's where they were going with that. And I will say, I actually did like the little trick they did with the, with the Zuikak on the sparring. It would make sense that that would be one way to trip her up, but... I wouldn't really necessarily say that's going to be something that, uh... I don't know. I don't think her copying Enterprise technically it is a bad strat in that case. Actually, it was very clever because it takes advantage of Zuikaku's weakness against Enterprise. Just the fact that she's so obsessed with her. So I thought that was a pretty clever little trick they did there. But... Hmm... I don't know. I liked it. I liked where it was going, where, where it's kind of trying to get her to have her own, um, you know, presence, her own identity, all that kind of stuff. I liked that. Because, yeah, falling behind because of your other, you know, because of your siblings, I can understand that being incredibly painful, so. Anyway, that was a really, really good storyline. I did thoroughly enjoy it. Good couple of laughs, too. And... I think that was overall pretty, pretty good. So, anyway, that is going to be all for this little Hornet story. Hope you guys did enjoy this particular video. And I'll see you guys again in the next live stream or video that I do. Until then, I'll see you guys all again real soon.